The theory goes like this. Flowers produce pollen. They also produce nectar, which bees collect to make honey. When they do that, they take some pollen with them. So bee honey usually contains some pollen. So here's the theory. When you eat locally produced honey, your body is ingesting small amounts of local pollen, the stuff that would normally make you miserable during allergy season, and building an immunity to it. In other words, it basically is like microdosing the allergies in your area. I wanted to know if this was true. I found out that it isn't, but it's worth learning why. Because even though honey probably won't cure your pollen allergy, it could still be part of the solution. Seasonal allergies, also known as hay fever or allergic rhinitis, are your body overreacting to harmless pollen in the environment. When your immune system mistakes a specific type of pollen for a dangerous intruder, it goes into defense mode, releasing chemicals called histamines, which are meant to drive the allergen back out of your body by making you sneeze, cough, itch, and generally feel miserable. In other words, they trigger an allergic reaction. And once you have an allergy, it's hard to get rid of because your immune system has a memory. Once it decides something is a threat, it won't forget. So every time you encounter that same pollen again, your body will sound the alarm and flood you with histamines. So, okay, that's what causes allergies. And that means that there are really only two ways to treat them. The most common one is antihistamines, a type of drug that blocks your histamines from triggering symptoms. But there's another way too, what's called immunotherapy. Basically where we help retrain your immune system to not have such a crazy, chaotic, exaggerated response. This is also known as allergy shots. They basically introduce small bits of the allergen into your system. And in order to be effective, the dose you receive has to exist in a sort of sweet spot, enough to wake up your immune system and even trigger slight symptoms at the injection point, but not enough to trigger a whole body systematic response. And then over time, we slowly increase that amount so that we're basically not tricking your immune system, but getting it to tolerate those amounts. As a dose you receive increases, your body's threshold for this sweet spot does too, until eventually you barely respond to the allergen at all. So over time, not days or weeks, but like over months and years, we can get your immune system to tolerate being around that trigger, that allergen, and not have the same symptoms. So if these shots contain a tiny bit of allergens and honey contains a tiny bit of allergens, why not just eat honey instead? Well, uh, that's not a thing. <laughs> after a very quick break, we'll tell you why. Hi, I'm Claire, and this video is brought to you by Amazon. I don't love allergies, and when it comes to healthcare, I don't love long lines, long forms, or long waits. That's where Amazon can help. From fast prescription delivery by Amazon Pharmacy to 24-7 virtual care by Amazon One Medical, they reduce hassles and friction points to make it easier to get care. Like all of our sponsors, Amazon doesn't have editorial influence on our work, but their support does make videos like this one possible. Thanks. I'm not knocking on honey, okay? Love me some honey. <laughs> But when people think that they're using it to treat seasonal and environmental allergies, probably not. And the main reason why is a pretty simple one. Honey does contain pollen. It's just the wrong pollen. Every plant species has distinct pollen, and people with seasonal allergies are allergic to particular ones, not the substance as a whole. The most common offenders being plants like ragweed, grass, and certain trees, which reproduce by flooding the air with their pollen. Those are really, really light particles, and they travel really, really far distances. I'm talking like hundreds and thousands of miles. Ending up all over our cars and driveways and decks, and in our respiratory tracts. But bees famously like brightly colored flowers which reproduce with the help of pollinators. So their large, dense, sticky pollen particles tend to stay close to home. Perfect for hitching a ride on bees to breed more flowers, but unlikely to cause allergies. That's not to say that people are not gonna have symptoms around flowers, right? Because the pollen can create a scent that can be very irritating, especially if you have other allergic conditions like asthma. But even if you were allergic to the pollen present in your honey, if you ate a spoonful of that, you would have what our patients who have oral allergy syndrome have, which is crazy mouth itching, throat itching. It feels very, very uncomfortable. And even then, allergy immunotherapy requires a lot 
of precision to be safe and effective. You're on a very tight protocol. We know exactly what's going in. We know exactly the amount. And we do this very slowly. Increase a dose too quickly or miss a dose, you risk a more serious reaction. Immunotherapy is necessarily a finicky, precise, long-term process controlled by certified allergists. The allergen count in honey is controlled by bees. So local honey most likely can't cure your allergies, but that doesn't mean it can't offer some relief during allergy season. A small study from Malaysia found that honey helps when combined with antihistamines, likely because honey is soothing and actually a really effective cough suppressant. It's worth noting, however, that the people in that study had to consume a lot of honey, like multiple tablespoons a day. So I can appreciate what people are trying to accomplish with natural remedies. Again, love me some honey, but is it gonna be the thing that retrains your immune system? Like, no. Still, there's a reason people have been using honey for medicinal purposes for centuries, for things like weakness and loss of appetite in 13th century Iran, and pain relief in ancient Greece. It's got some pretty striking healing properties because, and modern studies do support this, it's naturally antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, and of course, biodegradable which is part of why honey may be particularly helpful when incorporated into sensitive treatments like bone grafts, burn dressings, and dental implants. So, provided you're not allergic to honey, which some people are, or a baby who is under 12 months old, honey definitely has its uses. It's just that curing your allergies isn't one of them. You know, to each their own.